The North Central women's tennis team had high expectations for their first fall season in two years. After winning a rescheduled CCIW tournament in the spring, following an 8-0 conference record, they set the bar high for this regularly scheduled fall slate. For the fall, to do as well as we did in the spring, I'll try and have another repeat season. Just have a strong and consistent fall, match what we did last year, and then be ready for the AQ tournament in the spring. Not only did they again go undefeated and win another conference title, they did so by losing only four individual matches in conference play and also winning all six of their non-conference contests. For all the success, being back to normal wasn't as easy as this team made it look. And this is the first time I've ever experienced playing a fall season. It's been different, um, but I like it, you know, kind of get the ball rolling. I transferred from a school where it was a full spring season instead of a fall season, so it's been nice to kind of, you know, just get the actual competition out the way. It's tiring. <laughs> tiring, I'm not going to lie, because I, us I usually work out. I don't run a lot. So this running back and forth kind of thing is kind of like, you know, getting me out of breath, but it's fun. It's fine. I think it's been harder than I thought it was going to be. I mean, obviously the workload and everything stays consistent, but, you know, going through, you know, not calling it post-COVID life, but, you know, this post-COVID life of, you know, mental health and strenuous going back into schedules and, and work life and social life. So it's, it's been tough for everybody. And, you know, we do a really good job of trying to take things day by day and match by match and practice by practice. And, you know, we have 15 girls and there's been incredible buy-in. So, um, you know, it's been different, it's been challenging, but it's, it, at the same time, it's rewarding to get back to normal. You know, I actually think the pandemic might have helped in that situation because we weren't all in in matches right away, especially since we got our fall canceled last year. We did a lot in terms of team bonding. So I think as a team, we've really developed this like strong unit and strong bond. Like we're all like friends. We all are with each other as much as we can be. And it's that team unity, much more than any of their individual abilities, that the team believes truly sets them apart from the competition. We don't have any beef or anything with anyone. We like each other. And I feel like it's hard for teams to, to have that because I feel like sometimes they're like, oh, I don't like her, I don't like her, but I don't think it's like that here. It, it's really important because there's gonna be some days where I'm gonna ask someone to sit so we can get somebody else in the playing time and, and you know, on a, in, in years past, I don't know if we could have gotten away with that as we do this year. And um, it, it's a buy-in and everyone understands what our goals are and it's collective and it's not just a hope we get there, it's an expect to be there and in everything that we do and um, having everyone buy into that has been crucial to everyone getting along and, and the opportunities that everyone's been getting. Into, so. I, mean, I, I truly believe we're a team that gets along with each other. We all like each other. I know, I know that's common on teams. They might have some internal conflicts, but that's not something we struggle with. So we're able to really just focus on what we need to do in the moment and, you know, create goals and kind of achieve those goals together. There has been no shortage of recognition for all this team achieved over the past few months. Ryan Jump was named CCIW Coach of the Year and senior Kaylee Smashy CCIW Player of the Year. In addition to Smashy, Elena Kentapisai, Natalie Bassett, and Hannah Howland all also received all conference honors. The relationships that we have with them, watching them grow up, um, has been probably the most rewarding. Obviously, you can sit there and look at the wins and losses and championships and ranks and all that fun stuff, but the relationships have probably been the best part. Now the team will get some much deserved time off from matches before a spring schedule that will include hosting the CCIW's automatic qualifying tournament for the NCAA championships. But a lack of matches does not mean a lack of work. I know all of us are determined, we're not lazy, so we're like, we all have our own thing. So I feel like off season, we will have our time to go work out, our time to hit with each other. None of us are just gonna be like, oh, we're gonna only do school and do nothing athletic related. But for now, they can savor the moment where they did something that's never been done before, win two conference titles in the same year.